Everybody, how's it going? I'm Seth and welcome back to a, another right. video, folks. So, this is a special video, something I've been saving up for. Um, uh, obviously, this has been done over the course of a couple of days, and so this is one of my uh, new acquisitions, let's call it that. Uh, yes, I have got myself a motorbike, it's a 125, and uh, obviously, here in the UK, for those that don't know, as a lot of my viewers probably aren't from the UK. Um, to get to bigger bikes, you have to do a CBT, you have to get a 125 past the CBT, and then basically do your bike license. So, basically, I've always wanted a bike. This is just me fulfilling one of my dreams. And uh, this is just a temporary bike, and just showing it off to you guys. Eventually, I will work my way up to a bigger bike, but uh, I'm quite happy with it. And uh, I thought I'd show it off and eventually one of the things that I'll be doing here on the channel or plan to do is to uh, make riding videos. At least that is what I have planned down the line. So there we go. We can hear it running. Now I think it doesn't sound too bad. Bearing in mind it's only a 125. So it does sound quite alright. Although, you know... Eventually, in the long run, I do plan to work my way up to bigger engines. Um, of course, that will come in time. And uh, obviously, in this video, I'm also going to be planning to show you a section of my CBT. Uh, I did initially think that I recorded more, but I didn't. So, uh, a lot of new technology, trying to get used to it and stuff like that. But eventually... I will get better. Now, of course, I am still in the experimental phase where I'm experimenting with how to get the best quality, both from a video perspective as well as an audio perspective. So it'll take a bit of time until I figure out what I need to do, what I need to get, how I need to set it up. But eventually I will do that. And obviously, when the weather's nice, instead of just staying in and playing games, I thought I might do something a little different, and that would be go on bike ride so as you can see um the bike is pretty brand new <laughs> so plenty of scrapes and scratches for me to to put on it or plenty of space for scrapes and scratches for me to put on it i think that sounds a bit better <laughs> so of course the cbt is comprised of several yeah. modules this was the last module obviously the instructor won't take you out unless you're safe to do so and uh if you hear me breathing like mad, it's because two days earlier to or prior to the CBT, I was bedbound with an absolutely nasty flu. It was just as bad as a bad COVID, so to speak. So I'm struggling for breath. I'm going through being hot, being cold, but there was nothing that was going to stop me from going through with the CBT. I, I didn't want to reschedule it because I was actually looking forward to it. So at the time I'm making this video, uh, I go through phases of being either hot or too cold. And of course that does affect my ability to concentrate, but I managed to pull it through. And um, also I'm out of breath. So if you guys have had COVID uh, or one of those bad COVIDs, you should remember that um, it does take some time for your body to adjust and you have that shortness of breath. That is exactly what I'm going through. The bike itself obviously is a heavy piece of machinery, but not that heavy, not, nothing that I can't move about. It's just I run out of breath extremely quickly. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is the final part of the uh, ride, so to speak. So we're doing a ride out. I thought I recorded the first part, but apparently not. And if you see me nodding my head, it's because the instructor's giving me instructions and I'm nodding my head to say that I'm agreeing to it. Uh, he has a one-way communication system where he can talk to us. I can hear what he's saying, but I can't talk back. So obviously I'm using visual references so that he knows that I understood his instruction. So, um, I mean, I'm still a brand new rider. I haven't really been on a bike until now. This is actually my first time being on a bike. Um, uh, but yeah. <laughs> no, I thought I did all right. Now, 
there will be loads of cuts and so the reason for that is well actually two reasons one i don't really want to show the face of the other person doing the cbt with me but then also um as i said i'm working with a lot of new gear that i haven't worked with in terms of recording and so sometimes the wind noise is quite high so i tried to cut out anything with a lot of wind noise trying to give you guys the best footage now i will be working on it eventually and um i will be trying to uh, get the wind noise reduced uh obviously it's a learning curve for me so eventually with time and patience and experience i'll get better at giving you guys um better recordings but like i said at the beginning of the video i've always wanted to ride bikes it's an ambition i've always uh or a dream i've always wanted for some odd reason i've put it off for a long time and i just thought this time around i'm, I'm done putting it off i want to do it i'm going to do it and uh, also i do plan to go for the full bike license as soon as possible but first things first of course you know um, at the time of this video being aired, uh, I've already passed my CBT and uh, you know, I'm going to try and make do with the wonderful weather we get here in uh, the UK. Normally where I live, around uh, the end of the year, we tend to get loads of rain and stuff. So I'll try and make do with what I get and get as much practice in as I can and slowly work my way towards the full bike license. Now, what I would initially like to get is something similar to what you saw at the beginning of the video, just with a bigger engine. Personally speaking, I'm a fan of cruisers, but that is definitely what I want to get as my first bike. So, yeah, you can hear that I am still struggling to breathe. Uh, I had to do the whole CBT with the visor up because I was really, really struggling for air. So that, of course, affected the amount of wind noise that I had in the helmet, which all in all wasn't that bad. But uh, bearing in mind that we are kind of in winter time here in the UK, um, or coming on to winter, so to speak, I did get lucky enough to get a great day. So that was definitely enjoyable so with the cbt the instructor in the instructor the instructor uh, instructor sorry my apologies there jesus the instructor is always giving us uh, a heads up of what is going to happen next where he's going next so we we follow him and so you will see me from time to time nod my head. Uh, that's just to give him a visual reference that I understood what he's saying. And uh, he does also sometimes, or yeah, he did ask us to lead the, the group, so to speak. So we took it in turns, which was kind of cool. I did like that. I did definitely like going down the back roads. And I think that is one of the reasons I want a bike. So where I live... There are plenty of back roads to explore and on a day like this that you see in this video it's definitely something that i want to do just go for a random ride somewhere explore a new back road that i haven't been down and uh, of course um we're not too far from the town where uh which is closest to me uh, this isn't really where i live but it's the closest town to where i live So over here, as you can see, I've had to reduce the sound um, just because of the amount of wind noise in the helmet, sadly. Uh, not much I could do there, but I did want to show you this little section of the CBD just because like, these are the kinds of roads that I think are worth exploring on a bike. And um, yeah, sadly, <laughs> I yeah, there was no way around for, for me. I mean, I thought I had it covered in terms of reducing the wind noise, but apparently not. And uh, yeah, I still wanted to show it off. I just thought it's such a nice little road to go down. And as you can hear, it, it's uh, it's quite windy in the helmet. But then also, uh, 
trying to figure out where to put the microphone, how to uh, get that noise reduced is something I'm going to have to work on. I've got a couple of ideas, so it's going to be a thing of trial and error. And eventually, I might even make videos, or I, I'd like to make videos of uh, just bike rides without any commentary. Because, uh, personally speaking, I love the sound of a motorbike. And the view you get as a rider is pretty neat. I like it. I mean, riding a bike is definitely more involved, uh, or you feel more involved than just uh, driving a car around. So I do like that. There's a lot of stuff to consider. So this is one of the places where we stopped and um, was giving us instructions and stuff as to where we're going to be going, what we're going to be doing, routes we're going to be taking, stuff like that. Obviously I can hear it in the helmet, um, you guys won't be able to, which is fair enough. I suppose one of the things I quickly realised and the CBT is how vulnerable you are as a rider. So that means I end up looking and double checking <laughs> just to make sure I don't get hit by anything. And uh, one of the things I did struggle with, and you'll hear me in this little section here, is with the indicators. Now, part of it was because I did forget to turn them off. And uh, this is the instructor that just told me to the helmet to turn off the indicator. But then the other problem I had with the CBT was the shifter pedal was not um, properly adjusted. So I really struggled to go from first into second. Uh, I should have probably looked at it before I did that, which did make it quite complicated. Most often I end up in neutral, but it's basically I had to raise the shifter a bit for the type of boot that I was wearing. Um, I did do that after the CBT and it's a big difference, I don't know why I didn't do that before. Uh, I should have really tested the boot to see that the boot fit the gap where the shifter is, but uh, hey, I got through, I didn't fall, nobody got hurt, all that good stuff, so you know, and I passed it and I got my CBT, so that means I can go and ride on the roads, which is what I intend to do, and I definitely want to join a group. To, to ride with but uh, all in due time <laughs> uh, it's just that I saw the group of bikers on the other side so I just think that's so cool being able to do that obviously a 125 it doesn't go very fast so yeah I'm not going to be able to keep up am I <laughs> So again, you can hear there's quite a bit of noise in the helmet. Um, granted, as I said, throughout the entirety of the CBT, I did have the visor raised just because of how much I was struggling to breathe. Um, but hey, do you know what? Didn't matter how ill I felt, I didn't give up on it, and I'm well proud of myself. Now, in terms of the CBT, I really enjoyed it. I did overthink it from... Um, a retro retrospective perspective now if I think about it I overthought everything every command everything he asked me I massively overthought it it, it wasn't that complicated and do you know what looking back on it I actually quite enjoyed it and uh, definitely glad that I did it because there was a lot to learn and I'm sure there's still a lot more that I can learn so I'm looking forward to it definitely want to get more experience under my belt with a motorcycle and um, like I said you know the aim of the game is to get a full bike license and maybe try and ride some other bigger bikes uh, again you will hear differences in the volume of the video and so the reason you'll hear that is because again I'm trying to make this video as least annoying as possible from a wind perspective you know um, I suppose in my mind I thought it would be a lot easier to capture the footage with just the motorcycle sounds uh, than it actually is so yeah, there's definitely a lot of uh, experimentation to 
go through and uh, I guess try out <laughs> but um, also as you can see at the time of doing my CBT the roads were pretty decent they weren't too full of other users so to speak so traffic was actually quite all right I can imagine how stressful this would have been if this would have been rush hour but uh, this is a nice little um, town that I live in or near to so to speak and I guess uh, I'm gonna be exploring the town even more as I start preparing the full bike license um, I do hope to to have it by the end of next year so you know normally the way things work here in the UK for those that don't know um, with your driving license if you have a full driving license and are able to drive a car you can ride a bike up to a 125 only after you've done your CBT. Your CBT stands for um, compulsory basic training so you have to do it you can't ride it without the CBT so that is pretty much how it works so that gives you then permission to ride 125s pretty much almost anywhere uh, with the exception of motorways and obviously you can't carry a passenger not that you would want to carry a passenger on a 125 I'm pretty sure that would be quite challenging because they're not powerful engines anyways so then after that of course you need to do your full A license to get to the ability to ride pretty much any motorcycle that you wish uh, which is kind of what I'm working towards eventually because we will get that but like for some odd reason here I mean you can still hear some wind and a lot of my breathing uh, which I do apologize for <laughs> not much I could do there like guys I, I cannot stress how how bad I was on this day in terms of I was ill let's just put it this way so two days before for the duration of two days I was bed bound I could not get out of bed I was that ill I was going from having shivers to having a fever to having shivers again like on the second day of my illness when it fully kicked in I was so tired that I felt like my body was going to collapse. I just basically think of it as if you've run a marathon, uh, but you're not gasping for air because you're not. You didn't do anything. That's how exhausted my body felt after two days. I didn't sleep very much. Then basically, a day passed, and so on the second day after I started getting out of bed, which, yeah, on the second day after I started getting out out of bed, basically, or was it the third day? yeah this is the third day so basically I was ill for two days then I tried to recover for two days and then the next day after those four days I was doing my CBT a CBT is pretty much uh, an eight hour course so it was alright when I started uh, but towards the end of it I definitely felt the exhaustion and throughout the whole course you know one of my key things that I struggled with was uh, air <laughs> I felt like uh, I couldn't breathe all the way. But you know what? Looking back at the footage, I don't think I did too bad. Mm. Bearing in mind, I have never ever ridden a bike. So basically, I bought the bike before um, I even did the CBT. And I wanted to do it on my own bike as well, just to kind of get used to it. So yeah, as you can see, uh, I'm trying to be quiet and not be too loud with breathing because I know that I'm recording it but uh, <laughs> not that easy and this is one of the sections of the ride that I found quite interesting and uh, you'll see in a bit um, as we ride down this road I spot a another bike just like mine um, obviously mine's got the side saddles and the front windscreen and uh, I think mine's like glossy black the bike you will see is matte black so as you can see, the instructor was really good. I mean, I am well pleased with how he delivered the course. And uh, yeah, you hear me doing that noise because <laughs> my mouth was dry. 
I think throughout the entirety of the day I spent doing the CBT, I drank liters. I could not, um, I could not shake the feeling of being dehydrated, and I could not stop drinking. I was extremely thirsty. So at this moment in time, basically my mouth is so dry, it's unbelievable. And again, as you can see, I am struggling with shifting. You can hear that. And uh, I think this is where the other bike pops up. Somewhere around here, I'm not exactly sure. I know it's down this road. Let's see if I'm right. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's down this road. <laughs> yeah, I think it's somewhere around here. There we go. Well, that was just me kind of getting excited over seeing another bike just like mine. <laughs> it's the little things, isn't it? But, I mean, again, look at the day. I got so lucky with my CBT to, to have such a wonderful day. It made it really, really enjoyable. Um, challenging, yes. Uh, the challenging part for the CBT was just me not being 100% healthy. But you know what? I'm not going to step away from a challenge. No, I, I set out to... Uh, um, to do this. So I think this is where the instructor asks me to take the lead. So, okay. obviously we're pulling over to the side. Um, I don't know why I spoke in the helmet as if you he would hear me, but uh, he's basically giving me the instruction to pull away when it's safe to do so and take the lead. So obviously we're doing the uh, lifesaver checks and shoulder checks and observations and all that and uh, I think this was the coolest part because um, the road was really nice so I'm, I was happy to take the lead now <laughs> one of the things I tried to uh, not do in this video which is probably or well, throughout the CBT basically is not over rev the engine. Bearing in mind the bike is brand new and uh, the garage told me not to rev it too hard. Um, obviously it's a small engine so sometimes you have to do it. Uh, but yeah, in a way I'm trying to be gentle with it. You know, it still needs to be running a tad bit. <laughs> but what a wonderful day it was. And uh, yeah, the roads were nice and quiet as well. So obviously as I am riding down this road, I'm constantly listening out for the instructions from the instructor. So, you know, trying to maintain speed and I guess I'm also trying to build up my confidence with it. And trying to, rem to remember to do my shoulder checks, my visual checks, my observations and all that. So he's now given me an instruction, which is why I nodded my head. So it was to do with this particular roundabout. Obviously trying to be safe here. He told me to basically go over it, but I tried to slightly go around it. Just because it's a roundabout, it's not a round and over about. So you know, still trying to, to do my best here. This is where things got fun. <laughs> Obviously, I had to cut that out because of the wind noise. You could hear it, but uh, yeah. Sadly, that was a back road that we went down, and um, we did travel quite decently fast. I just had to cut out all the footage because I couldn't use it due to the wind noise. And now. One of the reasons I recorded this was mostly for myself, uh, something to look back on. You know, you're only going to do your CBT for the first time once. Uh, so let's assume I'm, I might end up doing a CBT again. You only do it for the first time once in a lifetime. So I thought this is a good thing to, to have and look back on. 
but then also I thought it'd be something nice to share with friends and family and do you know what share whatever I can with you guys the subscribers on my channel if you guys are interested in that sort of stuff um, I might potentially consider opening or making a new channel just specifically for this type of thing um, but to start off with I think I will kind of put stuff up here on this channel uh, I just think it's too difficult to have multiple channels running um, I don't have enough time to run multiple channels so I think I'll start with footage here and then we'll see where it goes and see if this is something that people like but uh, I know I'm liking it <laughs> So we're going down some back roads again, as you can see. Speed them is 60. Obviously, my bike's not going to touch 60. It's a very small engine. And compared to other bikes, it is slightly heavier in itself just because of its design. It, uh, it looks like a Harley Davidson, but it's a Chinese make. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it Charlie. So Chinese Harley. <laughs> At this point, down these roads, as the instructor has taken the lead, he's basically telling us how to navigate different sections of this road, whether it's a, a narrow section of the road or the turns, you know, what gears to be in, stuff like that, what to look out for. And so, really, all in all, I was quite pleased. I really, really enjoyed it. It was a great day, a long day, but nonetheless a great day. So, yeah, you can hear a bit of more wind in the helmet here. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too bad. I'm not sure what YouTube's... Um, compression rate will do to the sound of the video now that said I did have enough or more footage uh, this whole ride was about an hour this is a little panic moment I had realized there was gonna be a very narrow squeeze so I wasn't sure what to do well in which case I ended up stoned down and had a bit of a wobble there <laughs> But I reckon I'll have many more moments like that. Also, the other thing with the action camera that I'm using, it likes to record in 11 minutes sections. So sometimes, because we might be traveling at a fair rate of speed, um, things can look a bit choppy. I don't know if there's anything I can do with that to have it in bigger increments, but uh, we'll see. I mean, like I said, there's a lot of learning to do, both from the writing perspective as well as from the recording perspective. Uh, so, yeah, definitely a new challenge for me. I'm looking forward to it. Like, this section of road is actually quite scarily narrow. <laughs> You can only imagine that some farmers in their farm vehicles might be going down these roads at some some decent considerable speed let's put it this way <laughs> i can see that happening and of course as a motorcyclist you are really vulnerable <laughs> so i think it's sections like this that make you realize your vulnerability now i have full motorcycle gear on that's not really gonna save your life. It might, depending on how fast you hit something or get hit by something. But uh, yeah, it'll still hurt pretty badly. <laughs> Which uh, just something I hope never happens, you know? Now, 
I'm looking at this video and just again being grateful for what a wonderful day I had and I hope to, to see a few more days like this before the end of the year um, if it's like this outside guess what I'm doing <laughs> yeah definitely I mean it might just be like local rides until I get comfortable with the bike with what I'm doing um, and then yeah take it from there we'll see where we go so again here he's gonna ask me to lead and yeah my concentration at this moment in time just went down the toilet uh, it's been a long day for me but then also don't forget I'm also fighting a bad cold so yeah I did botch that one up, didn't I? <laughs> but you know what? Here on the channel, I do always like to show the good and the ugly as well. So sometimes it's not perfect. So right here, because of how the um, shifter was, I struggled to get it from first into second gear. Now, I did cut the sound here because all you can hear is wind. That's it. I mean, I did put the helmet down, the helmet visor down. It didn't make much of a difference. Um, but yeah, so following my experience with the bike at the CBT, I did make that adjustment, and I should have made it earlier. I should have thought about it. I didn't. It's really not a complicated adjustment to do. Um, but uh, definite difference in the riding experience and this again is a really nice road to ride down as you can see it's quite quiet uh, but with that being said and then i think i'm going to end the video here there's not much more to show to be fairly honest um i suppose i could show the last section whereas where we come back into the town i suppose i might as well add that in so this is basically us back in the town and we're basically making our way to the office where the um, instructor has his um, well has his courses and stuff does his courses from um, now obviously I'm gonna have to kind of cut the recording here or whatever footage I have I'm gonna have to be careful why show you know I don't want to show people against their will without their permission and stuff like that but again a nice little back road to, to beat down and uh, one of the thoughts that has occurred to me is maybe this might be a good place for me to practice some maneuvers in preparation for my for bike license because it looks like it's quite rather quiet and this is a bit bumpy here Yeah, and this is where I pretty much parked it, did some more maneuvers, and that was the end of the day. This was just the second half of the ride out. I believe, legally speaking, you have to do a two hour ride out, which was fun. Uh, sadly, I didn't record the first one. I thought I hit the record button, but apparently I didn't. So says the equipment that I used. But uh, that is pretty much it for this video, folks. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, I don't know how my commentary was, but uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, stay safe, folks.